Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's learn how to make our own keyboard shortcuts for Mac OS X applications. So Mac OS X allows you to go into System Preferences and change standard keyboard shortcuts for all sorts of functionality and applications. But did you know you can also create your own for menu items that didn't even have shortcuts before? Let's take a look. So here we are in System Preferences and we're going to go to the Keyboard and Mouse Preferences and in there there's four different tabs. We're going to go to the last one which is Keyboard Shortcuts. And you'll notice in here that there's all sorts of keyboard shortcuts that you can customize. But we're not going to look at those right now. What we're going to do is we're going to look at the additional ones at the bottom. Application Keyboard Shortcuts. If we look in there we'll see that by default we've got nothing. But we can add them by pressing the Plus button right here. Now all we have to do then is pick the application that we want to set a keyboard shortcut for, type in the exact name of the menu that we want to create a shortcut for, and give it a keyboard shortcut. So here's text edit. Now in text edit in the edit menu under speech is a start speaking menu item. But there's no keyboard shortcut for it. We can go ahead and create one by switching to the system preferences where we were before. We have text edit selected as the application. We're going to type in the name of the menu item exactly. So it was Start Speaking. And we're going to give it a keyboard shortcut. Let's do Command, Option, Shift, and S. We'll click Add. We'll see it added here under Application Keyboard Shortcuts, Text Edit, Start Speaking. Now, if we switch back to Text Edit and we go to the Edit menu, we go to Speech, we'll see that it's there as a shortcut. And sure enough, we can go ahead and Use it and it will work. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Now, this works for any application. You can go ahead and go through the entire list. It includes Macintosh applications as well as third party ones. So, you can choose just about anything you want and add the menu item. Now, one big catch here is that you can only choose a unique name as a menu item. So, when sometimes multiple menu items have the same name. For instance, in Mail, you can move to a folder and you can copy to a folder. If you try to assign a keyboard shortcut to the name of that folder, it will appear in the Copy To submenu, not the Move To one. So, you really can't use it for anything. And you also can't really use it for names of Windows and certain other things like that. And of course, it can't conflict with existing keyboard shortcuts either. You can even use it to add keyboard shortcuts to the Finder. All you need to do is press the Plus button again, choose as your app Finder.app, and then type a menu item like Show Clipboard, which doesn't have a keyboard shortcut. And I'm going to sign Shift Option Command C, add it. And now if I switch to the Finder I'll see that Show Clipboard now has that keyboard shortcut. I'll go ahead and execute it on my keyboard and there's the clipboard. So next time you're in one of your favorite applications and you try to use a menu item that doesn't have a keyboard shortcut, consider adding one using System Preferences. And this will speed things up every time you need to use that menu item. Until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.